I'm just going to reorder this. I'm going to divide everything by 20, okay, because 20 goes into each term. So if I divide all the terms by 20, we will simplify a lot of our work. So 0 divided by 20 is 0, and then I'm going to reorder. So I have 20m squared divided by 20 is just m squared. Negative 40 divided by 20 is negative 2m, and 20 divided by 20 is 1, plus 1. Okay, this is a perfect square trinomial. So we end up getting 0 is equal to, um, take the square root of the first term, m, take the square root of the last term, 1, put the sign in the middle, is 2 times the first times the last, does that give you the middle term? Okay, so is 2 times m times negative 1, is that equal to your middle term, which is negative 2n? And yes. So if that's true, all you have to do is just put your square above and you're finished. Okay, so we have 0 is equal to m minus 1 squared. Now if I take the square root of both sides, I get 0 is equal to m minus 1. Or you can think of 0 is equal to m minus 1 times m minus 1. So that means m minus 1 is 0 some of the times. And, well, some of the times m minus 1 is 0. Anyways, square root of both sides. So the square root of 0 is 0. The square root of m minus 1 squared is m minus 1. And then if I add 1 to both sides, we get 1 is equal to m. Okay, so we only have that one solution. Okay, so when that happens, you can just write m is equal to 1. Okay, and it has to be in that order. m is equal to 1. You can't put 1 equals m. It won't like it. Um, the other thing you could do is you can put that as a solution set like that. Okay, so in either case, it's three characters. Whichever one you think is shorter, go ahead and do. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna write the solution set with the one in it. Set one, close solution set, and then click on the check button. Yay!